Looks like we're building something today. Mama says wood, your favorite. <laughs> Yay, well, unloaded. Welcome back to a beautiful yet very cool day here in North Idaho. Today we are going to be firing up our heater inside our shop and starting our chicken coop build. When we left our homestead in Washington State, we had to sell off all of our laying ladies and I have really missed having chickens. So as soon as Jeremy turns this pile of sticks into the chicken coop of my dreams, we can go pick up new laying ladies. No promises, but I'm going to try my best. Thanks, Daddy. You're going to knock this out in one day, right? This, this afternoon we can go pick up the chickens? <laughs> All right, guys, so here's the deal. We are going to be building out a new, improved, bigger and better chicken coop for Melissa and the kiddos. That's what she demanded, so that's what's happening. I'm very demanding. She can be. So here's the deal. Let's get this out of the way ahead of time. We are going with non-treated lumber for this build. Although this is going to be set up outside, it won't have any kind of ground contact. I'm not really concerned with wicking. The cost of treated lumber right now is far more than I could justify um, when it comes to building a chicken coop. So we are using what it is we already had here on the property. We also purchased some additional wood just kind of fill in the gaps to hopefully get this done at a relatively cheap cost. So in order to help uh, offer some protection to our lumber and ensure that this holds up for a significant period of time, first thing we're gonna be doing is taking this penetrating oil and getting all these uh, chunks of lumber lubed up. We are getting a late start today. It is almost lunchtime. I am very hungry. What do you have in your snack belt? I have pretzel sticks from Croatia. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so we have been getting these international snack boxes every month as part of our homeschool curriculum. The box of snacks comes, we learn about the country, I steal the snacks, everyone's happy. So this month we got snacks from Croatia. So I got some pretzel sticks, which are salty. And then I got this mystery candy here, which I'm guessing is sweet because there are pictures of chocolate and hazelnuts on it. And if you too want to be a sophisticated world snacker, I did leave a link down below. So we are up in the loft. We are grabbing some of the lumber that we have left over from other projects. That shake weight experience coming in handy again. Back. <laughs> In the process of picking up the two by threes, not even kidding, Jeremy actually pulled a muscle in the middle of his back, so he has to kind of take it easy today. Poor guy. I'm still a young man. So this time it was lumber that I was picking up. The last time I did this, because this is a reoccurring injury, it actually happened while I sneezed and flung my body forward. I threw out my lower back and I was down for like three days. Yeah, so Jeremy now does not allow himself to fully sneeze. He grabs his knees and then he tries to hold it in. No, you gotta brace. I feel fear every time I feel a sneeze coming on because I'm, I'm worried I'm gonna throw my back out. Yeah, he did that about two or three days ago and then actually damaged his throat, hurt his throat holding a sneeze in. So Jeremy's dealing with a sore back and a sore throat and he hasn't sneezed in six years. I'm breaking down. My body's really been letting me down lately. Ow. So Melissa and I are gonna to try to get as much done as we possibly can, as we always do. However, it's a very cold and very wet day, so I don't know how long it's gonna take for this sealant to dry out. We're gonna put this, some heat on it, see if that helps, but I don't know. We're hoping to uh, hopefully get this thing framed out by tomorrow, see if we can make that happen.
Now that we got all of those pieces stained and drying, Jeremy's going to cut all the two by threes, which are gonna serve as the wall studs, and then we will get those stained as well. You're doing a great job back there, Mama. Thanks. So as Melissa continues to get work done on our lumber, waterproofing away there, I'm gonna to talk to you real quick about the coop that we are building. So the coop design that we have in mind is kind of following and taking after the one that we had back in Washington State that we also built ourselves. It's kind of a lean-to style structure. It's gonna be a little bigger, however. I think the one that we had back in Washington State was 10 by six or seven feet. This one's gonna be 14 feet in length and also six feet in width. What that's gonna end up leaving us with is a one foot overhang on the roof all the way around. At one far end of the structure, we're actually gonna have the fully enclosed coop that'll uh, contain some roosts so the chickens can kind of get off the ground and have some sense of protection. Morning meetings. Morning meetings, you know, stuff like that. Um, attached to the coop, we'll also have some nesting boxes where they can go and lay and we're actually planning to get those set up on a slight angle so that when the eggs fall, the chickens don't have an opportunity to um, become poop on. Yeah, like poop on them, peck at them, break them, and also become broody. So when they lay the eggs, they'll actually roll down to an area that we can collect and gather them. Like Melissa was saying, we really do miss our chickens a lot. We had them for many, many years back in Washington. We miss the eggs. But more than that, and this is probably the most valuable thing that we took away from our chickens, was the soil production. They we are a little compost machine. Yeah, they're a little compost factory. That's something we picked up from Paul Gauchi, but we basically line our coop and the run section with wood chips. And how did that work out, Ma? It worked out really well. Um, everything grew great in the combination of chicken compost and rabbit compost. Just It was just good nitrogen-rich compost that we had every spring to start all of our seed in. Yeah, so what we would do, and we actually have a really old video on this, is every time we did a clean out in our chicken coop, which we pretty much did, what, annually, right? Like once a year. I built a sifter and we'll do the same thing here. We scooped up all of the wood chips that had been broken down and contained all of the chicken manure. Got it sifted down to a really fine tilth. Set that aside, allow it to compost down even further and then we moved all of that material into our garden. We got all of the pieces stained and now we wait. Yeah, let's go inside. Yeah. So this is what happens when you let a six-year-old pick out their own birthday gift. We now have a T-Rex in our home. This is how the dinosaurs became extinct. <laughs> Bad news guys, about an hour ago, Jeremy came out here to check on whether or not the wood was drying and he bent over and picked up another pile of two by threes and just really tweaked his back, which ended up throwing all of his muscles into spasms. So I've actually never seen him in that much pain. It wasn't good. So he is probably gonna be down for a while. Um, he's laying down on a heat pad right now. He took some ibuprofen and he's just going to sit there for definitely the remainder of the day, probably all of tomorrow and kind of the unknown future. So, I mean, this sucks. It stinks because yes, obviously we're trying to keep working and stay productive, but more importantly, it just sucks to get an injury like that aggravated because once stuff like that starts happening, you know, it's just, it's so easy to trigger it again. And it's just really sad to see someone who's a go, go, go person just flat on their back in so much pain. So 
your prayers are definitely appreciated, but yeah, he's, he's going to be down for a while. Jeremy's been laid up all day and I was actually digging around and I found all these little icy hot patches. So good thing we have these, but I'm gonna go see how he's doing in here. Hopefully he's not sleeping and I don't bug him. You sleeping? No. Are you dead, man? No. I found some icy hot patches. Oh, you want one? Yeah. Do you wanna get up or do you wanna just like roll like a slug? No, I'll get up, you have to help me though. Okay. a lot of these because I think we're gonna be repeating this process over the next couple days. So I'm really sorry guys, this isn't the way this video was supposed to go. Um, obviously I didn't set out to injure myself and this is a reoccurring injury kind of like we mentioned yesterday. So it is incredibly, incredibly frustrating. I wanna apologize um, with not getting this project done. We will get it done however, once I'm feeling better. You know, Melissa and I both really pride ourselves on uh, working hard and getting things finished when we do start something new. Um, so to see all this stuff sitting out in our pole barn for me is incredibly incredibly frustrating We will get back to work. However in a few days I know from previous experience that my back will be feeling better here in the next Hopefully three days in the meantime. We are gonna have to be taking it easy. It's not gonna be my priority for the next few days to kind of just lay down make sure I keep up on uh, My heat and my ice and my prescription meds which are really helpful that I was previously given by my doctor so Melissa has been taking great care of me as she always does. Thank you, Mama. We need a new Netflix show now. Yeah, so we'll, we're gonna Netflix, chill, binge watch some stuff, take it easy like I said, and then we'll get back to work. Mm -hmm. 